The world has been a bit weird for the last couple of months. And at the beginning, I bought myself some books. So, welcome to my quarantine book haul. So, normally I wouldn't buy this many books in one go, but at the beginning of quarantine, like... How long ago was it? Two months ago? Two months ago. I was worried about bookshops going out of business, so I went up to a couple in the area where I'm from, kind of. Technically, these are two different hauls, and I got them from two different shops, but I got them at like the same time, and it still counts. The first book I got was Circe by Madeline Miller. This is a retelling of the Greek myths surrounding one of the lesser goddesses, so Circe is the daughter of Helios, who's the god of the sun, and she has a really terrible time. Like, some of the stuff she goes through is just... I just recently reviewed this one on my channel, and I really loved it. If you want a better description of all the things I loved about this book, then check out those two videos. But a brief recap here is, this book is all about the language for me. Is I loved the descriptions and the imagery and the paired back way that Miller used to describe all the terrible things that happened to Cersei. So for me, this was a five out of five star read, but I know a lot of people struggled with this because at the beginning there are some hateful characters and the pacing is very slow. Nothing happens in this book, almost. Almost nothing happens in this book. And it's the intriguing development of Cersei as a person that really pulls you through. The second book I got was by Kaio Chingonye and his book of poems called Kumakana. This is a book of poems that reflect on initiation as a concept and particularly initiation in the Luvali tribe. I hope I'm saying these things right. And it's really beautiful. I'm not qualified to review poetry. I can read it, but I don't know what to say. It's really nice. I'm not liking these poems. I'm getting my annotation game going, even with the poetry. So I'm reading this book of poems in, not in conjunction with, but at the same time as I'm reading The Water Dancer by Tana Hesse Coates. So it's really interesting to see the comparison between the all the way back in Virginia during the times of slavery and being with the characters as they're desperate to get home but their home is a place that has never accepted them and then they don't feel like they fit in anywhere and then this is a modern day consideration rumination of still not feeling like you fit in because the the culture of your parents or your ancestors is different to the people around you and the country around you. So it's really beautiful, really short read. I'm really enjoying this one. The next book I got was The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. I'm a bit nervous to read this one to be honest because it feel seems because it seems like it's gonna be heavy going. But it's essentially about this girl called Seely, and it's set in the deep south in the USA during the, the war times. And she basically has a terrible life and we get to watch her deal with that. But then Seely meets a woman who just transforms her in every way and teaches her how to accept her own power and her own being. So, as much as it's going to be heavy, I'm excited to get to this one because I think it will be really interesting. The next book in my haul was Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Everisto. I first heard of this book because of the whole controversy in the Man Booker Prize where it was the first dual prize and stuff. Was she the first black woman to win it? And how she won the prize in conjunction with Margaret Atwood for her book The Testaments and it sounded really interesting especially as it focused in Britain where I'm from and takes the voices of many different women, different sexual orientations, different backgrounds 
and gives them their voice and we just go on a roller coaster of discovery with these 12 different stories. And this is the one of the books that I will be reading for the for the queer blackathon. So I hope this video comes out before then. And the next two books I got were two in the Lady Astronaut series. This is book one and two, the Calculating Stars and the Fated Sky by Mary Robinette Cowell. I'm not sure if there is more in the series. I can't remember. I'll have to check. But basically, Washington DC has been destroyed by an asteroid and there's terrible global warming happening and humanity is fucked. And their aim is to build a colony on Mars. And it's set in the 50s and the 60s. And the protagonist, Elma York, is a mathematician and a physicist, but she's not allowed to take part in these Mars and Moon missions because of prejudice. So I'm really excited to read this one because it's about space and it's about women and it's astronauts and I'm excited. But I really need to check if there are more in this series. I don't know. Mary Robinette Cowell wasn't an author that I ever had on my radar. I'd never seen her anywhere. I'd never heard people recommending her books. And you can see Hugo and Nebula Award winner. Hugo and Nebula Award winner. Both. But I first heard of her through the podcast Writing Excuses that she co-hosts with Brandon Sanderson, who I assume everybody knows, Dan Wells uh, and Howard Taylor where they give advice about writing and everything to do with developing the craft of writing. So it's a really amazing podcast that I really am in love with and it really helped me with my personal writing and whenever I'm stuck they always have a podcast that is about that specific topic. As I said at the beginning, I got these books from two separate shops. So. I kind of fucked up with these books a little bit and uh, I'm from a small village in the north of Scotland and there is one bookshop which is a Waterstones nearby to my village so I was like oh, I'm gonna order from this branch and it's gonna support the local economy not thinking that when you order from Waterstones website it's probably just a central warehouse somewhere and then they send it and it doesn't have anything to do with the local branches so yeah. My tree fell down! And these three I got from the Golden Hair Bookshop in Edinburgh, which is a super beautiful little bookshop in Edinburgh. So if you're ever in the city, you should go and look them up. They're lovely people, they're really great to talk to, and they've got a really good selection. I do not live in Edinburgh, so I had to order these from their online shop, which they delivered to my mum and dad's house. And I was in contact with them and they said that if there was anything in their shop that they didn't have that I wanted, then it would be no problem for them to order it in. So if you ever check them out and they don't have something you want, all you need to do is ask and they will be on it because they're the best. Love you golden hair. Thank you for joining me in my first ever book haul video, which is a quarantine book haul, which is kind of weird, but we're going to go with it. You should check out some of my other videos where I will be reviewing some of these books and discussing all the nitty gritty stuff about storytelling. And until my next video, I will speak to you in the comments. That was scary.